ease all of those anxieties and put those doubts to bed and make sure to streamline your exit instead. Wow, that rhymed. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to help you absolutely chop or cut your morning routine in half. So if you guys need help being organized or more productive in the mornings and perhaps you find that you're rushing or running late to get places in the mornings, then stick around. I'm gonna share with you my top 10 morning life hacks. So pretty sure these will help you. And if you do enjoy today's video, then thumbs up to let me know. And if you guys aren't subscribed already, then subscribe down below so you can join in and be part of the Jessica family and also get notified whenever I post up my study tip videos. Okay guys, here are 10 life hacks for chopping your morning routine in half. Okay, so the first tip is to play some upbeat music on your phone to get you into a positive mindset and get ready for a new day. I find that playing upbeat music makes me actually move faster as well. So if you have a playlist on Spotify, for example, then you can pick one to listen to in the morning and even listen to the songs as you get ready as well. Tip number two is to allocate a particular amount of time for every task or to do that you have in the morning. So make sure that you give yourself a particular amount of time for brushing your teeth, doing your hair, perhaps you have a shower in the morning, making your breakfast, eating breakfast, packing your bag and then getting out the door. So if you're actually timing how long you take to do each task and you're putting a time limit on each one, you're less likely to dawdle and you'll move from each task a lot faster as well. The next tip is a bit of a combination from tip number one and tip number two, which is to play some music and whilst you play your music, you have to complete all of your to-dos for the morning. So make sure that the music is of course upbeat so you're not gonna be moving really slowly and it does help you to just monitor the time that you have to complete those tasks and of course it does motivate you to then get to the next task once that song finishes. So I know that some people don't actually like to put a timer on their phone or they just find that moving to music actually makes them move faster as well, rather than just knowing that there's a time limit. So it kind of combines tip one and two, I guess. All right, this is a little morning hack for all of you guys that like to shower and wash your hair in the morning, or even if you don't typically shower and wash your hair, but you have to one morning and you're in a bit of a rush, then this tip is rather than using shampoo and conditioner, just grab a cleansing conditioner from a pharmacy and it just cuts your shower routine in half or your hair care routine in half. So I just find that this way, it's one less thing to worry about. And yeah, even if it just wipes off a minute or two from your morning routine, those minutes add up. Another thing that I find really time consuming as a girl is to do my makeup in the morning. So if there is something that I can cut out of my makeup routine, I am definitely all for it. So I recommend using a BB cream rather than your concealer and moisturizer. If anything, I put a blob of moisturizer on my finger and then I do a blob of my concealer and I mix it together and then put it on my face. So a BB cream is essentially the exact same thing, only it's one less product to worry about. Another tip for all of you girls out there that want to simplify your makeup routine and just shave some more minutes off your morning routine would be to focus on the areas that give you the most impact and don't actually take that much time. So instead of doing your whole face of makeup, try and get away with just doing a BB cream, focus on your brows, pop a bit of mascara on and then do a darker lip or a nude lip even, any kind of lipstick. Honestly, I think brows, eyelashes and lipstick make you look like you went to a lot of effort with your makeup when honestly you didn't. And it would probably take you only a couple of minutes. I usually do this in the mornings if I have somewhere to be and I'm in a bit of a rush. And I would say that that takes me about five minutes in the morning compared to, dare I say, 35, 40 minutes for my whole makeup routine. Yeah. <laughs> The next tip is to help you with making your hair all beautiful when you have a serious time limit going on, which is to sleep in braids. So sleeping in braids means your hair's not gonna be knotty, you don't have to brush your hair in the morning, and honestly, all you have to do is take out your hair tie, undo the plaits or braids, and can just honestly say that you just woke up like that, because essentially you did. One more thing you can do for your hair if you don't have time to shower and you really need to wash your hair. I know sometimes you wake up in the mornings and you're thinking, oh boy, I don't think I can get away with another day of not washing my hair, but I don't have time. Dry shampoo, guys. Do some dry shampoo. Well, not do some dry shampoo, but use some dry shampoo. So I do this every now and then. I won't lie if I think that my hair is in need of a wash and I just don't have time. And usually you can add an extra or gain an extra day or two by just popping in some dry shampoo and then just rubbing your fingers through the roots of your hair as well. Tip number nine is to pre-organize your breakfast and lunch the night before. 
So the last thing you want to be doing when you're getting ready in the morning and you don't have much time is to think about what you want for lunch and then have to make it as well as make your breakfast, sit down and eat it. So aim to just set aside even 10 minutes the night before and make your lunch for school or university and then also opt for some sort of a breakfast that you can prepare as well and leave in the fridge. So I really like the idea of making overnight oats. I'll usually pour some oats into a mason jar add some milk and some vanilla extract or essence and then also some banana or berries on top. So easy, it means all I literally have to do in the mornings is open the fridge, take out the food, eat the food. It is so handy. <laughs> Now this is a tip I did find off a friend of mine's YouTube channel. If you haven't checked out Rachel Leah, check it out. I'll link it down below. But I love this tip. I thought it was so handy. So you have a basket at your front door and you put everything that you need for the next day. Your bag, your laptop, your charger, your phone, your shoes, whatever it is that you need. Probably not your lunch because that should be in the fridge until you have to leave. Otherwise it's going to get icky but otherwise everything else goes in the bin and when you have to leave even your keys should be in that bin actually unless you hang your keys at the front door if you've got a little peg so this way you're not going to forget anything and it's just a really convenient way so you don't have to leave the house and think oh my goodness did I forget something do I have everything I need or not so yeah ease all of those anxieties and put those doubts to bed and make sure to streamline your exit instead wow that rhymed oh my gosh I'm just I'm just so on it today, guys, aren't I? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you found these tips for cutting your morning routine in half, hiya, then make sure to thumbs up this video and also subscribe to my channel if you aren't already subscribed. I had so much fun filming this video right now. I don't know what it is. I just find that I'm really enjoying making these kind of videos for you guys. So if you did enjoy, yes, thumbs up. If you want to check out some previous videos, then check the cards up there or click the cards up there. And you can also check out my study skills book, The High School Survival Guide. I'll leave some links in the description box as well. And until next time, have a very happy and productive week. Bye.